Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is another episode in our spring training series. Today we're talking about herbicide application timings and specifics about cutoff stages for soybeans. Now I know we've had a past video from the nozzle heads looking at corn stages. So today we're gonna focus on soybeans and discuss some of the important stages that you need to know as far as when can I use my herbicide and when should I not use my herbicide. Yeah, herbicide application timings or application cutoffs, uh, they're very important in terms of the integrity of the chemistry. And remember, you have to follow the label for application, and that's where all this information is housed. And whether it's any type of residue in grain or whether it's crop response, those restrictions on timings are there for a good reason. So definitely bear in mind what they are for specific herbicides. And really what we're talking about, and we'll mention specifically some of the BASF herbicides today, but well, we're talking about three main timings for groups of timings. That would be pre-emergence. That would be somewhere in the late vegetative sta stages around the fifth trifoliate or V5. And then as soon as we hit the reproductive stages and we start seeing flowers. Those are kind of the three big categories you could say for cutoffs. Right, so let's, let's look at some products here and just kind of see what we're talking about. Eric mentioned the emergence, and so we talk about that. We're talking about products that the cutoff is once the soybeans are out of the ground. And so um, sometimes there's questions about this and how it does deals with cracking and those type of things. I've got to advise you, just like we always say, refer to the label to see exactly what the specifics are about this. But when we, some of the examples we come up that cannot be applied once the crop has been emerged or is exposed, and that is Sharpen, Zidua Pro, Verdict, our Kixor type products that we have. Those are the ones that we're watching out that we don't want to be hitting emerged soybeans with. These are designed to be used prior to soybean emergence. Yes, and then once we get to the post application herbicides and timings, we're going to mention residuals first. So a residual like Outlook herbicide, that you can apply through the V5 or the fifth trifoliate stage. And then its other counterpart for a solo group 15 residual in soybeans, Zidua SC, you can apply that through V6 or the sixth trifoliate. And those would both be the two post residual products of choice. And then once we get into the other post chemistries, the emerged weed uh, controllers, Liberty, the cutoff for Liberty is up to R1. So beginning bloom, as soon as we see a flower anywhere on that soybean plant, uh, we're at R1 and we cannot apply Liberty after that. Right. And then last one we want to talk about in the post side here is the Ingenia piece. And as the label changes have come through in the last year, uh, that cutoff date is now June 30th. It's not necessarily tied to a growth stage, it's tied to a date. And so we have the June 30th cutoff for Ingenia. So all these together, you know, again, looking at what we have from emergence through the early, late vegetative stages, and then that beginning bloom, those are all kind of those stages we want to be on the, the lookout for when we're applying our herbicides and know which one is. As you can see, you know, we've got five different ones that we're keeping up with, so we need to be aware of those. So with that, folks, thanks for joining us. We hope to see you soon. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. The thoughts and comments expressed on these videos are the opinions of the nozzle heads. Be sure to like and subscribe down below to be notified of new content and videos.